And it is an eerie feeling looking at this building just wide open with that exterior wall just gone. And if you take a closer look, what appears to have been an office or a storage room is still intact despite all of the rubble and work going on around it. This is also a reminder of those lives that were lost here last night. Wednesday night, a fire pumper from Station 19 near the plaza was responding to a fire when police say it hit an SUV headed west. The vehicle then crashed into a building on Broadway Boulevard. A woman on the sidewalk and the man and woman in the SUV were killed. Kansas City police are investigating the cause of the crash. Surveillance video from the gas station up the street appears to capture it from a distance. The traffic light is red as emergency lights emerge. First of all, I want to, um, everybody to know how heartbroken we are about this incident and you know, just let everyone know that our thoughts and, and prayers and, and hearts are with the families, friends and loved ones of everyone involved. Fire Chief Donna Lake said the firefighters were not seriously injured. They went back to the station. We sent them home for the evening um, just because you know, they were shook up as well. Thursday morning, crews worked to clean up the rubble around the damaged building. Upstairs, an office with file cabinets and boxes neatly in place, despite the floor caving in. Downstairs, the former home of the Riot Room, a bar and concert venue that closed two months ago. That could have been really bad because 1030 is pretty busy usually, you know, at a bar at least. The crash was out of frame for the camera at Roman sneaker shop across the street, but they have a clear view of the aftermath. Who knows what's going to happen now, but sad day in Westport. And it is unclear what will happen with this building. We know that the employee of a neighboring business says that for today, employees are able to enter their business. Customers have not. And for now, the city has put up these barriers around the unsafe building to allow space for traffic to come through on this busy boulevard. Reporting in Westport, I'm Bianca Beltran, KNBC 9 News.